And Encore is an industrial biotechnology focus group. We're part of a larger organization called Danisco. We've got about 30 years of history in the area of industrial biotechnology, and our core skills are relevant to the design and operation of the cell factory. The cell factories that we work today really are, are all focused in on the production in a very, very large scale of industrial enzymes. So today, Genencore has an industrial enzyme business of about $800 million. Uh, in addition to the industrial enzyme business, we've been, over the last 25 years, using this competency in the design and operation of the cell factory to build biological machines to do chemical synthesis. So over the years, we've built systems to make amino acids, to make vitamins, to make chemical monomers. So we're one of the few groups in the world that has done this at a large scale, has done this commercially, and has done it successfully. So today, one of the things that brings me to the Congress is to continue to tell that story in terms of what we're doing in building a cell factory to make a new chemical, mon chemical monomer, isoprene. Isoprene has been around for a very, very long time. It's a, a, it's a commodity chemical that's sold today derived from petroleum-based feedstocks. And what Genencore is doing is building a biological cell factory to make that particular product. The work that we're doing today is on building a, a microorganism that will take renewable raw materials, sugars, and convert them through a series of enzyme-based processes in the cell to make isoprene. We call it bioisoprene. In this case, the, the product is made within the microorganism we utilize, utilize a lot of our skills relevant to enzyme engineering, metabolic pathway engineering, and what the cell ends up doing is it makes isoprene, produces it in the cell as a gas phase product. We're doing this in a research collaboration with the Goodyear Tire and Rubber Company. They're one of the world's uh, largest tire and rubber companies, uh, an innovator in the whole space of the engineering and design and production of, of new types of tires. And they're helping us relevant to the development of an integrated process to make bioisoprene. Uh, so that's, that's how we're working together with uh, a pretty good company like Goodyear. Isoprene is, is a chemical that is made today using chemical synthesis. Um, it's, it comes from very large scale petrorefinery types of complexes that make chemicals like ethylene and propylene. As a, a byproduct of those types of chemical refining operations, there's crude materials called crude C5s that are left over. Companies like Goodyear's and others collect those materials and they do further refinement and purification from those materials to isolate the chemical called isoprene. Isoprene is a five carbon molecule, it's a hydrocarbon, and what companies like Goodyear do is they take that highly purified isoprene material and they polymerize it using their own technology and chemical catalysis to make long chain polymers. Today, you and I know those polymers by the simple name of synthetic rubber. And synthetic rubber is used in a very, very wide range of applications, one of which is in tires. So what we're showing here is the world's first prototype tire that has been the synthetic rubber that's used in this uh, tread for this particular tire. 100% of that synthetic rubber was made from bioisoprene. Bioisoprene being uh, a material, a chemical that is chemically identical to isoprene made from petroleum-based feedstocks. The big difference here is that the bioisoprene that's made here is all derived from renewable raw materials. From a, from a safety standpoint, when you start thinking about the kind of tires that could be utilizing bioisoprene, there'll be no difference. The bioisoprene that we're going to be making is chemically identical to the isoprene that's produced from petroleum-based materials. So as we move forward, Genencore is going to be uh, build, own, and operate large-scale manufacturing plants to produce bioisoprene. We'll sell that material to companies like Goodyear. We expect they'll be one of our most important customers. And, and it's Goodyear's intent to take a material like bioisoprene and make products like synthetic rubber from it. Uh, I think it's important for people to understand is that bioisoprene has a wide range of applications. Today, there's a world market of high purity of uh, isoprene of about two billion pounds per year. 60% of that market is for synthetic rubber and tire types of applications. The other very large segment is for making adhesives, hot melt adhesives 
that go into products that we all use every day. One of those hot melt adhesive products is, is disposable diapers. Uh, and a key component of, of those materials is isoprene that goes into those uh, particular materials. We're looking to make investments in a pilot plant in uh, 2011 time period. We'll be doing, or I should say the Goodyear Tire and Rubber Company will be doing further testing on tires made from bioisoprene based uh, synthetic rubber later in 2011 and 12. And ultimately the product should be in the marketplace probably in a 2015 time frame. We're using microorganisms to do work. Uh, what work is that? Well, it's, it's basically utilizing enzyme-based systems to do a series of chemical reactions. So in words, we like to keep the story simple. Uh, in video, we're looking for the appropriate tools to help us to show that so that we can kind of take uh, a little bit of the mystery of the science kind of out of the equation. Uh, we do things like this so that people can see the result of the work that we're doing. Um, it's bioisoprene. It's got a little bit of a different name, but it's making things that you and I use every day. And I think probably one of the most important messages to kind of get out at conferences like this is that industrial biotechnology has been here over the last 30 plus years. It's been delivering really important products that you and I use. Uh, a lot of discussion today about uh, industrial biotechnology delivering the next generation of fuels, that's going to happen. So I guess to me the key message is industrial biotechnology is delivering very important products, sustainable products, that are really going to be very important for all of us going forward. Industrial biotechnology is delivering solutions. It has been for many, many years. It's delivering important solutions that you and I use every day, whether it's the enzymes that are in detergents that help you clean your clothes, the enzymes that are, are used to process uh, textiles that all of us like to wear and use every single day, or if it's in a chemical-based product like today, what we're showing on bioisoprene that goes into making a product that you and I use and rely on every day. Industrial biotechnology is delivering solutions. It's also delivering promises of more solutions in the future for things like second generation ethanol and advanced drop-in biofuels. And uh, it's a bright future and it's an exciting time for industrial biotechnology.